been added to audio only. Uh, Mark Avelli in the chat says hey, that he intuitively uh, came across that he needed some things in his body. Have you ever done that intuitively? Uh, not intuitively. I had I've had two hair hair samples uh, diagnosed. Uh, uh, you know. Uh, looking at all your minerals and toxins. Uh, uh, I was um, overboard on copper on my first one. Uh, for various reasons. <laughs> but uh, originally, this all started with my, uh, my amalgam fillings, my mercury fillings. I think I think the mercury fillings broke and leached out over time, the various ones. And so I was uh, mercury toxic mm. and uh, caused all sorts of problems. So I had to chelate the mercury. I took the all the fillings out of my mouth and replaced them with plastic and other ceramic forms. I uh, got all the mercury out of my mouth. And uh, unfortunately, I think that it ruined my thyroid gland. Um, uh, I think it really ruined my thyroid gland. So as a result, I'm having to supplement thyroid hormone uh, every day and have been for... What are you doing with that with? What Pardon? are you supplementing? What are you supplementing with for your thyroid dysfunction? Well, just the thyroid replacement hormone. I'm using Armor, the Pecun, the derivative from pig. It's the yeah. closest thing to human. I'm not using Synthroid or Tyrosint, the synthetics. I have, I tried that uh -huh. in the beginning when I didn't know, yeah. and then I came came to find out that. The, the pecun, the, the pig derivative works so much better. I mean, it's like night and day. So I've been on the armor brand or, or nitro throid. It's another brand, uh, since, uh, since the beginning, almost the beginning of my illness. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it's just, uh, it just kind of keeps it normalized. Yeah. You okay. well, you need thyroid. That's your metabolism. Right. If you don't, if you don't function well, you, you, you just slow down. Every, or your whole body slows down. You don't digest, yeah. you gain, you gain weight. You don't think properly. You don't, your hair doesn't grow. Your, you know, you just nothing, everything slows down all your functions. Have you, have you, like, I just started digging into research on peptides. I don't know if you've done any of that. Uh, I'm taking collagen peptides. Mm -hmm. uh just i'm i'm 70 years old so i'm losing some muscle mass and part of that may be because of the lack of collagen so anyway that's the only peptide yeah well i, I was just thinking like i as as i've been digging into this peptide research for a couple of weeks i found that there's literally you can basically pull specific amino acid chains and then now scientists are starting to at, extend onto the chain or reduce the chain to make it have a certain effect. So like there's a potential there for some sort of a peptide that could also help you with your thyroid issue. I just, I, I was just kind of scanning here on this page, but I mean, there's, it's something to look into. I know that that's pretty cutting edge. And, um, Sam Stolt is another hexagon who talks about, um, pe you know, peptides and biohacking and other things. And, uh, yeah. there might be something yeah. there. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll definitely, uh, yeah, I'll check. It's I'll basically, check a, you're basically attacking it from the chain level. So you're basically presenting your body yeah. with the exact amino acid chain that would would have would affect the thyroid. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, intuitively yeah. here. Just a little thyroid 101 is the the receptors the receptors of your thyroid gland are supposed to re receive iodine, <laughs> but there are other uh, halides, I guess, or halines that mimic iodine like bromine and bromine's just chock full 
in bread. You know, you get a loaf of bread, it's just chalk full of bromine or bromide. And that tries to attach to your thyroid and displace the iodine. And uh, there are other, I think it's called a halide or haline. Anyway. So, you, so particular- you've basically cut out start like breads and starches and stuff and went more oh yes well i I cut out that for other reasons too but uh yeah it's uh i cut out that because of uh glyphosate and yeah there's all kinds of things modern wheat is not good yeah Mm -hmm. no and they strip they strip all the vitamins you know any any kind of b vitamins that were good for you they strip those out but they may add them back. They may say they fortify the bread, but what they're adding back are synthetic B vitamins. Right. None of the stuff <laughs> that they're adding back is bioavailable. So it's no, like totally no. counterproductive. It, right. It's totally foreign. Your body doesn't know what to do with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, so let's see. We, we discussed the fat-soluble vitamins, which is A, 